Hello everyone and welcome back to Smokin' Drinkin' and Chillin', my YouTube review series where I smoke and review barbecue meats, drink obscure sodas, and talk about generally interesting things. Today, as you might expect, is another episode in the Drinkin' series, and the star of today's show is... Hank's Gourmet Burge Beer. Um, so a relatively, I'd, I'd say, re like relatively obscure soda, maybe not super uncommon, but uh, definitely... Uh, not something that you'd see everywhere or that many of you might not be familiar with. Uh, Hank's Gourmet Birch Beer, or rather Hank's Gourmet Sodas, the first one was a root beer. They were founded in 1995 and uh, originated uh, in Trevos in Pennsylvania in Bucks County near Philadelphia. Uh, so I originally had thought they were basically a Philadelphia or Pennsylvania regional soda, um, but it turns out they're in over 40 states. Uh, they were founded by a bunch of dudes, none of whom were named Hank, so I don't know where the name came from. Uh, but based on my cursory research, there's like a Robert, a Bill. I'll pull up the list. Hang on. Let me see. A couple Salvatores, but that was their last name. John and Frank and Tony Salvatore. Three Salvatore brothers. Who's Hank? Um, but yeah, I don't know who Hank is. So I had originally thought that this was a regional, like Pennsylvania, Philadelphia beverage, because I actually can find this back in LA at home at this Philadelphia, like the Philly cheesesteak place near me called Philly's Best. They have a couple flavors of Hanks, but I saw this one hanging out here uh, while I'm in Philadelphia at a cheesesteak place, and uh, it's a flavor that I haven't tried yet, so I figured uh, I should. So without further ado, I guess I can jump into it. For those of you that don't know what a birch beer is, uh, it's like a root beer, but it tastes worse, in my opinion. Um, it's uh, made from the sap of the birch tree, as opposed to, I don't know where root beer comes from, the roots of some tree, I don't know. Um, and there's another birch beer that I want to compare this to, but I don't have it yet, but that's in the works. So something, so I'll, I'll read the ingredients first. Um, we'll start with the nutritional facts, I guess, as we always do. So this is a 12 ounce bottle, as you can tell. Uh, so in each 12 ounce bottle, it's 150 calories, zero grams of fat, 30 milligrams of sodium, which is 1% of your daily value, and 40 grams of carbohydrates, 39 of which are added sugar, that's 15% of your daily value. So less uh, sugar in absolute volume, but in terms of how it compares per fluid ounce to the other sodas, you can check out the spreadsheet, which I linked in the, uh, in the Pepsi video. Uh, that was where it debuted. So go ahead and check that out. I wanna note that this uh, says here, it says very low sodium and no caffeine. So that's why I didn't say anything about caffeine because there's none. It says very low sodium, uh, 30 milligrams, per 12 fluid ounces, which is true. That is not a lot of sodium. It's a 1% of your daily value. However, uh, to compare it to the other sodas I've done so far, it is lower than all the sodas except for Stalinate. It's two and a half uh, milligrams of sodium per fluid ounce. Stalinate was 2.08. Everything else is slightly higher than 2.5. Pepsi was 2.75, for example, but it is lower than the Big Red, uh, which is the other sodium, which are the other soda which claimed to be low sodium. Uh, so yeah, and zero grams of protein, of course, good or not good, depending on how you view it. Uh, not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fats, cholesterol, dairy fiber, dietary fiber, rather, vitamin D, cal calcium, iron, and potassium. Good enough. The ingredients, what we've been waiting for. Filtered carbonated water, filtered. Cane sugar, caramel color, sodium benzoate, preservative. Natural and artificial flavor, yucca extract, gum, acacia, I think, or maybe acacia, citric acid, and red number 40. Uh, I want to know what the gums are. What's interesting in gum acacia and gum arabic? Uh, yeah, bottled by Hanks Beverages, hanksbeverages.net, if you want to check them out. Product of the U.S. of A, baby. So, no high fructose corn syrup. It's natural cane sugar, which we like to see. So, something I've done, which I haven't done in a video yet, uh, but I will actually do it in another future video for a different reason, is I have a cup with me uh, because uh, you can't see the color in the bottle. And the color is pretty vibrant. I think it'll look kind of like what the big red looked like. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'll pour a little bit into the glass. Um, it's a twist-off cap, hopefully. And uh, take a few whiffs first. Not a strong smell out of the gate, but it does smell kind of like a root beer, uh, if you would. And there we go. There's that, that red color. 
See, it looks kind of brown on the camera, I suppose. This looks like a cherry cough medicine. The foam, I think you can tell, is, is more red than brown. I'm gonna let that fizz out a little bit. I'll take a sip from the cup in a second, but I'll take my first sip from the bottle. Take a couple sips from the cup now, too. Okay, so review time. What I'll say is taste-wise, I, I started this by saying it tastes like root beer, but worse. I'll have to modify that statement. Uh, it tastes kind of like root beer. Um, I, the other birch beer that I had, which I won't name the brand of, had a much more licorice taste to it that I didn't really like. This, I think, would be very difficult for me to tell side by side in a taste test, a blind taste test with a root beer. Something I could do if I could get my hands on this again is compare this to Hank's root beer. That'd give me a better way to compare the two, but this tastes kind of like a root beer, maybe a little less sweet. The color is nice if you can see the color, but this brings me to my next point, which is drinking out of the glass versus drinking out of the bottle. No contest, uh, but the glass wasn't chilled, which maybe put a little bit more of the bottle's flavor, favor, but there's nothing like drinking a soda out of a bottle. I mean, come on. And something that the cup does is, since it wasn't chilled, gives it a little bit of a heavier mouthfeel uh, than the bottle. Uh, and even though there's no high fructose corn syrup, it still feels a little bit heavy if you're drinking out of the cup. I won't rate it out of the cup because I don't know who would buy a bottle and then pour it into a cup. That's borderline psychopathic behavior. So out of the bottle, I mean, yeah, it's definitely, it, it's solid. Trying to see if there's a difference between that and a root beer, and I can't tell one. Then again, I haven't had Hank's root beer, so maybe, or I mean I have, but not recently that I remember. So that, it might be different than Hank's root beer, but if you were to compare this to, let's say, Barb's or, you know, Mug's, tough to tell a difference. I'm not a, the biggest root beer guy overall. I think that even in the bottle, there is a little bit of that heavy mouthfeel sometimes. Um... It's pretty easy actually to get your hands on, I think. So I mentioned earlier that I thought this is a regional soda only. It's actually available in 40 states and you can get it online anywhere pretty easily. And uh, this is a soda that I think you can drink and you won't feel like you've out sugared yourself for the day because it's just 12 ounces. And even in those 12 ounces, uh, only 39 grams of sugar, which is relatively low. Um, in fact, the lowest of the sodas that I've reviewed thus far and it kind of makes a difference on the margins. So, I, I I wouldn't call it healthy, but it's the healthiest soda I've had so far. Caffeine-free, low sodium, low sugar, uh, but a, a good flavor to it. Overall, I'll rate this as a 8.5 out of 10, I think. I think giving it an 8 would be a little bit too low. Um, but I'm not a big root beer fan, but I think if I were to compare this to the major big brand root beers, it would pretty much be on par. Um... So yeah, I think that's all I got. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Uh, as always, the response to the channel has been outstanding and I cannot overstate how appreciative I am. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, like if you haven't already, leave a comment down below for suggestions or any feedback or thoughts you have on the video um, and hit the notification bell, subscribe. Uh, notify yourself, like hit the notification bell seriously, please. So that like it just comes into your inboxes when I post because I don't wanna have to keep sending this to you people. It's annoying, come on. So uh, notification bell, comment, like, subscribe. This is not super smooth. Uh, most importantly, email me, contact sdcreviews at gmail.com. What's up with you people? Like 10 people will leave comments and nobody will email me. Why not? Send an email. Convenience maybe, yeah, but here's a deal. If you email me, I'll guarantee you that I'll read it on the show. If you comment, you might not even get a reply from me. You might not get a like from me. And that's not because I'm too big shot. It's just, you know, the emails are more special. I feel it's, it's more it's more personal one-on-one. -on -one. You're not putting it out for the world to see. So email me. What's the big deal?
We can become pen pals, you know? I might have you on the show if you email me. The fondest comments that I've received that I love the most all came through email. Uh, that's not true. But it, it could be true if you email me, so please do. Uh, contact sdcreviews at gmail.com. Check out the spreadsheet if you haven't already as well. I think that's an important part of my project here and my mission to create a to create a, a big database or big database guy I am. Those of you who know, you know. Um, yeah, it's a database of the sodas. Oh, what's not to love? So check that out. And uh, as always, have an excellent rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, everyone. As you can tell, there's more to this video. I recorded the first part, the hangs part, about two days ago. And um, today I ended up at this shop called the Franklin Franklin's Fountain, something like that. It was an ice cream shop, but it was also a soda fountain, like a real soda fountain. It was it was the real deal. It was good. I felt like a kid in a candy shop there, and uh, had to decide which one of their sodas that they had on display to buy to review. And I figured since I just done the birch beer and hadn't uploaded it yet, might as well do another bonus content for you guys. This uh, Reading Draft birch beer that I found since 1921. I've never heard of this brand. Um, this was not the birch beer that I had in mind that I mentioned in the last video. Um, and since I hadn't uploaded the other one yet, I figured I'd just do a twofer and compare them head to head. Although it has been a couple days, so let's see if I, if I remember or not. Since the video is already a little bit long, I'll uh, go through this pretty quickly, I think. So Reading Draft birch beer. Reading Draft is a company since 1921, I guess. Uh, I guess they were bought out by some people, some a different family acquired the business pretty recently. I assume they're based in Reading, Pennsylvania. Um, and, and, and yeah, so 12 ounce a bottle. I'll read the nutritional facts as always. Uh, 170 calories, zero grams of fat, 30 milligrams of sodium. So again, very low sodium. Uh, that's 1% of your daily value. 43 grams of total carbs, 42% 42 grams of which are added sugars. I made a mistake in the Hanks version of this probably. Uh, I probably said fit that their added sugar was 15% of your daily value. That's because uh, they listed how much the total carbohydrates were of your daily value, but not the sugar. Uh, the sugar is like over 70% of your daily value. So I, I misstated that, I apologize. Uh, this one has 42 grams of added sugar, which is 84% of your daily value. That's more than the Hanks. Uh, about a quarter of a gram more per fluid ounce, so four more grams than Hanks, and zero grams of protein once again, good or not good, depending on how you look at it. Not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. Uh, so yeah, pretty standard. Then ingredients, also it's caffeine-free, so no caffeine. Uh, they are based in Reading, Pennsylvania. Hooray! Um, ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, caramel color, sodium benzoate, preservative, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, gum acacia, so you'll know what that is, and yucca extractives. Extractives? Extractives? I don't know. A few things to note. As always, uh, cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup, which is promising. And notably, this one does not have red 40 in it. It just says caramel color. So I have brought back the uh, the trusty glass to, to check it out, although I don't want to drink out of it because I know it's not going to be good. This one I don't think is a twist off, so I gotta, you know. This bottle opener stinks. Oh my God. Ooh. It overflowed on me, no. Anyway, I'll clean that up in a second. But, uh, you know, priorities. Smell comes first. Yeah, this one does not smell just like a, a root beer. It's got a little bit, it's got a little bit more of a funky flavor. And as you can see, the color is dark brown, like a Coke. Yeah, this has got a much funkier flavor, like it's fermented or something. It's weird, not just like the regular root beer. So I'll, uh, I'll take a sip. Something I forgot to mention, apparently what this company does, they do some sort of weird carbonation where it's small bubbles, so it's lighter, I suppose. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, look, it smells a little bit funkier, but the taste is exactly the same. So, eight and a half out of ten. Thank you all for watching. Have an excellent rest of your day.